On this day, earth shall ring with the song children sing to the Lord Christ our King. Born on earth to save us, Him the Father gave us. Ideo, oh, oh, Ideo, oh, oh, Ideo, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. God's bright star o'er his head, wise men through to him led. Kneel they low by his bed, lay their gifts before him. Praise him and adore him. Ideo, oh, oh, Ideo, oh, oh, Ideo, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. On this day, angels sing with their songs as they'll ring, praising Christ, heaven's King, born on earth to save us. Peace and love He gave us. Ideo, oh, oh, Ideo, oh, oh, Ideo, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. On behalf of myself, Pastor Carmen, and all the Roberts Park United Methodist Church staff, I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas day. For nearly 50 years before coming to the USA, I would be in church on Christmas morning to celebrate Jesus' birth. As a youngster, I would get to show off a present I had received, one that I had opened for the church service. The rest would have to wait until the afternoon before they could be opened. As we cannot meet in person in the building, and because Christmas morning service is not the tradition of Roberts Park, I thought I would record this message for today. Hear these verses about the shepherds from Luke's account of the birth of Jesus. When the angels had departed and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this event that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. I learned something interesting recently. Apparently, many people claim that the artist Picasso was left-handed, to the extent that several websites dedicated to left-handedness cite him as a famous example. The fact is, though, that he was right-handed as can be proven by an examination of the photographic and historical records. So what is it then that caused so many people to think otherwise? The answer is they took someone else's word for it as fact, assuming that what they had been told was true. And it's an understandable mistake, for we often have nothing but hearsay to go on, yet we need to be alert to the dangers, for ultimately there can be no substitute for the first-hand experience. Until we have seen the truth of something for ourselves, either by witnessing the event or by testing its veracity, we cannot categorically say that we know something to be true. That is just as true when it comes to knowing God. We need to learn from the example of the shepherds who, when told the good news that the Saviour had been born, went to find out for themselves. Let us go then to Bethlehem, they said, and see this event which has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. We may have been taught about faith as a child. We may have been brought up in a Christian home. We may have sat in church and shared in countless services. We may even know our Bible back to front, but it makes no difference. What matters is that we have met with Jesus, 
and that we have put our faith in him and discovered in practice the truth of his words and the reality of his presence. Don't let your faith rest on someone else's experience, on what others may have said and told you about in terms of Christ. Turn to him, open your life to his love and let the gospel be true for you. That could be the greatest gift that you get today. Now, will you bow your head with me in prayer? Loving God, challenge me through the example of the shepherds. Teach me that it is not enough to accept the gospel's claims simply through what someone else has said, but that I need to experience the truth of it for myself. Help me then to open my soul to the presence of Jesus and to welcome him into my life. Help me to know the reality of the Spirit at work within me and to accept the message of the gospel, not just with my head, but with my heart also. Amen. May you continue to have a blessed Christmas. And as we close, here is the UMC discipleship recording of an international virtual choir singing these Christmas carols. Shalom to you, my friend. <laughs>